And their coaches on the sideline here for the St. Andrews Knights are wearing pink hats with pink shirts to support the cause for breast cancer here this evening. Always a great call to support. As you see there on the screen, we are at midfield here looking at the coin flip between the Knights as you see the captains out there on the field for the Knights you're going to have number two Rashard Cohens and then you're also going to have the safety number 25 Andrew Austin out there for the Knights for Kentucky Christian. You're going to be number 58 LaKale Aaron and number 33 Jacoby Emery number 18 Justin White. I think there. that's either a two or a three uh, it's a two so that's going to be Devin Vikas. As we await and find out, as Kentucky Christian is going to get the ball to start the game, they'll go on offense first. Just uh, up near the Lexington area, if you're on 64, Huntington, West Virginia, uh, headed over towards Lexington. Uh, Grayson, Kentucky is where the Knights hail from, and like we said, here in Larnburg, um, St. Andrews University on a windy, windy day, folks. If you hear noise in the background, it's more than likely just going to be the wind making some <laughs> lead way into our microphones here. As they line up, four to the right, one to the left, Cohen, and they get him to jump. Free, Free play, play here. Goes to Cohen. Cohen tries to think about going outside. Instead, goes back inside, cuts it inside, and he's going to the house. To re or Rashard Cohen's. And a nice play there. From Rashard Cohen's, that should be a false start on the defense. They'll decline yeah, that they'll one. They'll decline it. attempt against the win, but snap spot is all good. The kick is long enough. It appears to be good. Stop Kentucky Christian with no points on that drive. So the defense standing up strong for St. Andrews last night as they fake the handoff to McNeil. Instead, he'll dump it off to the man who got some running room. He's coming down the right side. He's got nothing but green grass heading down the right sideline. Stays in bounds, taking off to the house. It's going to be Gooding as he is in there for a huge rushing touchdown. As they go for two, they run it to the left side, and they're in there. For two are the Knights. And the Knights now take a 12-point lead here after the successful two-point conversion attempt. There's a penalty flag on the far side. And we're going to get, it's going to be, um, I, I think the far guy was offsides on uh, Kentucky, on, on um, I'm sorry, on St. Andrews. The offense set now. They'll line up two each direction here, two left, two right. Man at the bottom is so uh, Soto. Fakes the handoff to Brown. Tosses across the middle of the field. Got a man. He catches it, and he's going to go in there for the touchdown. It's going to be Coleman. Des De Vazant Coleman. No penalties. As he came out of the slot position and just went on a go route, and White was able to toss a dart in there and get the first touchdown of the game for Kentucky Christian. Rodriguez, a senior from... Palatine, California. So a long trip from him from California to Kentucky as the place is down, kick is up, and the kick is good. As the score now, 10 to 15, five point lead. Is the snap to White. White, left side, pump fakes, pulls it back down, works to the right, pressure starts to get to him and he's swallowed up in the backfield. As he's gonna be brought down for the first sack of the game by Monte Williams. Monte Williams, the yeah. junior linebacker from Raleigh, North Carolina. It's the one who comes down with that. As our producer says, there was holding back at the line of scrimmage, but they did not call that one there. The flag's back at the 41 here. It's going to be defensive pass interference or holding.
Kentucky was off sides. That was declined. And then Andrew Austin added the extra point, and it was 7-0 St. Andrews. Kentucky Christian came back at the 6-22 mark. Austin Shuffler field goal attempt from 25 was good. That cut the lead to 7-3. St. Andrews went up at 14-45 mark of the second quarter. 13-3 when they scored on a Caleb Gooding rush of 80 yards. There was a penalty personal foul. They moved it down for the two-point attempt. Devon Rush went in. That made it 15-3. 11:55. Mark Justin White completed a 38-yard pass to Demontes Coleman for a touchdown for St. Andrew for uh, Kentucky Christian. That made it 15 to 10. The extra point was good. That made it 15 to 10. Kentucky Christian took their first lead of the day when they completed a pass to Diego Soto from Justin White for 15 yards making it 16-15. to 15. Paul Rodriguez's kick attempt was good, and that's where we stand now, 17-15. Kentucky Christian looking to go 3-3 three and three on the year and even up their record. St. Andrews looking to go for their first victory on the season. As they sat and thought the same thing. They give the ball to Allen. Allen, right hash. He's going to the house. There's Allen, nothing but green grass as he finds the hole down the left hash and a huge run from Devontae Allen. 66 yards. Look at this hole. He hits a hole and just turns the Jets on there, Perry. A lot of times after a timeout, after an injury, teams get a little lazy on the next play. And boom, like you said, hit that hole and he was pay dirt. Yeah. They do here on defense. Devontae Allen, only a sophomore running back from Marion, South Carolina. Going to throw here is White. They bring the blitz. He takes a shot, throws it, got a man. He stood in there and caught it. Touchdown. As he throws that one over to the far side of the field, and it's caught by Fortune. But the quarterback is on the ground, slow to get up after he took a shot of White. I mean, he took one right on the chops as he threw a beautiful ball to Fortune. But uh, 56 yard scoring drive. Seven plays for Kentucky Christian there. Both teams able to score on their opening possession to start the second half. Pending the extra point here. A one-point ball game currently. Here's the play clock. It still has ten. Snap, place, kick is up. Almost able to get there are St. Andrews Knights, but the kick is good. So it's now a two-point ball game again, 24-22 towards the line. Running back in there is Graham. There's the snap to White. They give it to Graham. Graham goes right, caught in the backfield. He's not going to get it. It's a, just a gaggle of Knights meets him there and stops him in the backfield, and that's a turnover on down. Try to keep co both of the coaches calm and uh, keep players away from each other's sidelines which we've seen happen a few times, and the other five standing here discussing the call. And they had me faked out. I thought they gave it to uh, Devontae Allen up the middle. Instead, Wallace kept it and pitched it off over to the left side, over to Ellis Jr., who gets across midfield and a big pickup for the Knights. Did you hear the fans blowing the air horns? Look at him there. Turns it upfield. Looked like he was down there, but got away. Yeah, that hurdle didn't work that time. Now, Orlando Flowers Jr. was ready for the hurdle, and he stood right there and stayed up and put the hit on him, and that's going to bring out the punt team here as they get back. And you might be thinking possibly maybe there's a chance for a, a fake here, but probably most likely going to punt it as they do. It's going to be a good punt. It's going to bounce at the gonna, 18. Uh, Hit Allen in the face. Allen's going to have to pick it up at the 10. He's going to make something happen. They'll get to the 20, go down the right sideline across one man the numbers. To beat he on the far sideline. He's far right sideline. Here comes Allen. Got one guy to beat. Number 53 as he takes off towards the pylon. line. This is Devontae Allen. Takes it back to 80. the house. 89 yards. Oh. 89 yards. He, yeah. he got the ball at his own 11-yard like, line. Looked like Deshaun Jackson. <laughs> yes, he did. He got that ball at his own 11 after he bobbled it off his face mask and turned it in to a touchdown for the Knights and the lead back to St. Andrews. And that's yeah, the and spark he, they were looking for. The 14 
four-point lead. You can understand why they went for two there, trying to make it a six-point ball game. 45. Uh, number five. That's going to be Monte Williams, like mentioned earlier. It's one of the leaders of the defense. Made a big play. He was able to shed that blocker, as you see. He just shed the block. Look, close to having a nine-point ball game the other way. Now we have an 11-point ball game for the for St. Andrews. The house for a pick six. That one there may have just iced the game for the St. Andrews. Knights. Yeah, that's going to make it really, really hard. Um, St. Andrews is still going to have to run some time off this clock, um, but it's going to make it very, very difficult. Did you see? To Josh Downs, 45 yards. Carolina's up 14-7 over Miami. Cohen's right there at the sticks, left side. Cuts back inside. Stay in Brings bound. it back to the left sideline and steps out of bounds. Move a man in motion. Give it to McNeil again. McNeil lowers the shoulder. He gets first the first down. down. On the sideline, they're about to give someone a Gatorade bath. Yeah. Here comes the Gatorade bath. Here comes bath, the Gatorade folks. bath. They're carrying it. They got it. They got the smallest the player. guy on the team trying to carry it. Yeah, they got the small guy of Lions carrying it. As here they come after the coach, they're hugging it out. And he just got doused with some Gatorade, folks. Mm -hmm. And. That has to feel amazing. <laughs> First win for head coach Stephen Harris. Knights are going to win this one. 20 on the clock. You hear the music here starting to play. The Knights running down towards the sideline, picking up the trophy. The victory trophy over there. There it is in the rivalry game. The St. Andrews Knights bringing it and keeping it here in Laurenburg, North Carolina is they're victorious today against Kentucky Christian in this rivalry matchup. And they did not check up, Perry. There were still 20 seconds on the clock. They knew they won it, and they said, we're going to get our trophy. Yeah.